I'm sorry, Circle Approach, uh, from CASB uh, for Cessna 635, Circle Back, if that's possible. Alright, uh, 7, go back, Roger, only over, proceed direct, CASB. Alright, proceed direct, CASB, uh, Cessna 635, Circle Back, thanks. Something better about that, that trip, folks, we want to enjoy your top request. The 529 Charlie Fox, chart, turn left, heading 090, back to final approach, of course. Left 090, Charlie Fox. Uh, one Julia Papa, go ahead with the request. One Julia Papa would like uh, to fly localizer uh, back course uh, Alpha to Santa Maria, execute mist and hold over Guadalupe. For two one Julia Papa, Roger, clear localizer DME back course Alpha approach. Clear on localizer okay. DME back course Alpha, one Julia Papa. Alright, so we're gonna go to CASB. Turn while we approach, walk around with a request. And we'll go ahead and put our fog on. Walk around, go ahead. Uh, we're uh, 10 miles northeast of Ontario at 4,500, looking for a flight following to Almonte. And we'll try squawk 2221. 2221, walk 100. Okay. Alpha Fox, turn left, heading 090, vector to the airport. Alright, so... 090, Alpha Fox. 4,400 is going to be the altitude that we need to be at. Er, 7, sorry, 5, 7, Quebec, sorry, so it's near enough, 2, 6, right, and then you plan to go missed on that one? We'd like to execute the published mist for that one, is for Cessna 65, Sun Quebec, thanks. 5, 7, Quebec, Roger, at CASB, the Yarnav, runway 2, 6, right practice approach is approved, and upon completion, execute mist approach procedure is published. Okay, CASB, the Yarnav, runway 2, 6, right approach approved, and then upon completion, execute the published mist for Cessna 65, Sun Quebec. Walker 100, SoCal approach, radar contact 15 north of the Paradise View or the Ontario ultimate at 2996. Right, we are approximately... 2996, Walker 100. 9.8. Uh, departure. 60 Zulu, only 19 er Clear land. Clear land, 19 er 60 Zulu. Sir, who's the aircraft calling? That was 93 Juliet, up, uh, checking in on the uh, downwind departure. 93 Juliet, Papa, SoCal approach, radar contact. Sending these towers, Alex M4 Fox Star Hotel, left downwind for runway 29 air request full stop. I thought I did Four Fox Star Hotel, runway 29 air clear to land. Clear to land, runway 29 air for Fox Star Hotel. Okay, so we are executing the practice approach uh, into Chino, the RNAV, or the GPS runway 26 right approach, followed by the published missile approach. Approach November 9, 3 Jersey Papa, would it be and of course, uh, to get a climb up to 5,000? Uh, we have to watch for traffic, but uh, we don't have a safety pilot. Remain outside the Bravo airspace, altitude your discretion. Uh, we'll remain we outside just, We'll just do what we can. Discretion, 9, 3 Jersey Papa. Um, we do have a moving map here, and we're not really going to be using Fox, that. Fox, Fox, Airport, uh, 1 to 2 o'clock, 11 mile. All right, so briefing the approach, valid 4th December of 2015. It's the RNAV GPS runway 26 right approach. Southwest 2083 uh, to send by the Janney 5 arrival. We'll just, uh, for uncompensated barrel VNAV, we're not really going to worry about that because it's pretty warm. Well, warm your tank so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, the published risk approach is climbed to 4,000 direct to Ayuri. And then track 241 to Lahab, and we're going to hold there. And that's a four nautical mile leg. And uh, we'll hold on the 256 inbound course. Bakersfield ground pipe. Mooney, 7 Whiskey Romeo, is on the eight, uh, apron at Alpha 5, ready to taxi a Fox Truck VFR to the southeast. Uh, 7 Four Whiskey Romeo, Bakersfield ground, only 30 right, taxi by Alpha Bravo. Final approach course is 256. Alpha Bravo, 30 right, 4 and Whiskey Romeo. At Kudak. Uh, we will uh, do a, a, we have a hold and loop a procedure turn there, so South Fox, so three, from the direction we had it, so that we are coming from, we it's a parallel course, entry, approach from a track zero. outbound 076, so which across zero, six, CASB. Yeah, no, I don't need any vectors. He, he initially thought I wanted vectors, but no, we just want to fly it from the initial approach fix. Uh, so from CASB. We're going to track outbound 076. We've got to be at 4400 at CASB, which we are about 4400 feet. Right now. Correct from that intercept angle, the straight in approach is approved. Uh, straight in approach, is it okay if we actually uh, fly the hold and loop the procedure turn for 5 seconds back? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you want to do it, go for it. Okay, thanks. 5 seconds back. Yeah, it's less than a 90 degree intercept, so I can legally clear you straight in for it as well. Okay, gotcha. Thanks again for that info. 5 seconds back. 
Okay, wasn't aware of that. Okay. Come on, tower. November one five six two zero is clear of one nine at Delta. All right. Six two Zulu ramp by Alpha. The streak hits the pass for the cat. So. Uh, let's go ahead and clear the block Alpha, there. Thanks for the pass. Six two Zulu. All right, just about 4,400 feet here, and we're about 4.2 miles from Cassidy. Yeah, we, we want to do the course reversal just for uh, practice, you know. Uh, Delta, 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 Scoot in and get a clearance for the Bravo and uh, climb to 5 5. That'd be good. Thanks. Nice That's Roger. 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 Climb to 5500 is approved. Turn left directly north now, and you're clear to the LA Bravo airspace. We're heading direct to CASB. Uh, Copy that. Can direct see north here. up We're to uh, 5500 and get into the airspace. Nav one, rather. We've got three miles to go, and typically about less than a mile before it's one mile. Uh, we'll start that turn. Family, we've talked to Skyhawk 745. So we don't have to shoot Runway 29 on Foxtrot. For Foxtrot, a tail ramp by off of this frequency. It's a pass for the Cat 3. Uh, taxi via Alpha, thank you for the pass. For Foxtrot Hotel. John Mentor, hello, Mini 96. Uh, Alpha, Nine. Eight is Delta four. Fox, Delta Delta Tower. Good afternoon. The winds are zero five. Eight is in from neutral. Two two five three. Zero one two zero one. Nine is six one zero. Zero 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 Arriving and departing runways to the first line for whiskey runway. Six to line right down to park. Visual approach is approaching. Read back to runway. Three to right and hold short and short whiskey runway. Advise on the initial contact. You have information, Papa. All right, we got Papa two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact is your one tango tell. Two nine nine six. Contact Three aircraft for the Cat Four request. Say the call sign only, please. Right, two zero one Tango Hotel. Two zero one Tango Hotel. San Luis Ground Roger Runway Two Nine Taxi by Alpha. All right, there's about two nine or Taxi by Alpha. Two zero one Tango Hotel. And then we'll fly outbound for a minute. I should have timed it, but I've got it on my watch here. I didn't set the timer, so we'll just watch. We'll watch my watch. All right, so continue three, to brief that approach. Three, zero, zero, uh, the LPV decision three, altitude one, is 1,030. Uh, anyway. We're a Category A oh, aircraft, so uh, that's going to give us 394 feet above the ground, or 1,030. That's the LPV. All right, we got about 20 more seconds here. And... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. November 9th, 3 Julia, Papa, connect to Cal Approach 134.2. Alright, we go ahead and start that turn inbound now. Keep it the standard rate as we can. 4,400 feet at Casby. We're 5 7 Quebec, connect to Cal Approach 135.4. 135.4, uh, Cessna 65 sub Quebec. And so Cal, November 9th, 3 Julie, Papa, checking in, 3,700 feet. Southwest 2083, roger. 9th, 3 Julie, Papa, so Cal, approach the Burbank altimeter, 2996. 2996, 9th, 3 Julie, Papa. Sam Lee's tires, Scott, 201 Tango Hotel, holding short runway 29, uh, departure to the south. We're 201 Tango Hotel, Sam Lee's tower, left down with departures approved, runway 29, Cliff Dick. Left downwind, uh, departure, 2-9-er, clear for takeoff, 2 0 one tango hotel. And SoCal approach, uh, Cessna 65-7, Quebec, uh, GPS runway 26 right approach. For 5-6-3-5-7, Quebec, SoCal approach, Chino altimeter, 2 9 9 6 okay, 2 9 9 6 Cessna 65-7, Quebec. Alright, so we're gonna have to turn 30 degrees or so, uh, to intercept, because it's basically like a teardrop, but it's a parallel entry. So that would be about a two to six, which is about where I'm at. All 
and then we're going to watch that VOR1 needle. I mean, this is kind of cheating with the moving map, so I'm not really paying attention too much to that. Just trying to keep it uh, as realistic as I could, because if I'm doing these in reality, I wouldn't be having a moving map. Okay, and I think I see needle movement. Some needle movement. We'll start a very shallow turn. I'm All right, we'll go ahead and put the tower in. Delta Fox, they could have left some Delta, let the taxi straight out of the way. Alpha Fox chart, uh, Alpha to Atlantic, it's frequency connect. Alpha to Atlantic, thanks for your help, Super Alpha Fox. Alright, we got tower in the standby. Uh, we're just over CASB now. And we got about six miles to Linden. At Linden, we want to be at 3,300. So we could actually start, go ahead and start a descent now. Uh, we should, if we do get the green LPV, that means we can rely on the glide slope indication. And hopefully that is the case. So far we don't have any glide slope indication, but we do have the step downs. And we crossed over CASB because we've got Paradise's uh, 053 radial outbound. And we know where that's coming from. Okay, right, so we're right on the money, it looks like, with the localizer uh, we'll laterally. Transfer with tower for approaching to El Monte at the top. And at 3,000, we have Linden. Which is about uh, four DME away. Yeah, I'll have lower and a turn for you about another five miles or so. All right, thanks. Look, like that. Sure. Yeah, if I drop you to four now and then I forget about you and send you on a downwind about three or four miles longer than I'd like, it's going to put you into terrain which we would like to avoid. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'd like to avoid that too, Nash. Fox. Absolutely. <laughs> Fucker 100 El Monte Tower on our left base, runway 19 or runway 19 or clear land. Okay, our rate of descent seems left like it's just okay. Left base, runway 19 or clear land, walk 100. We're at ground speed, so we're going to hold it's this. It's okay on the rim and the three drill power. We'd like a uh, 15 degree left turn, possible. Okay, we're drifting a little bit to the right there, so let's correct just a little bit. Not three, Julia Poppy. You've left the uh, Bravo airspace. Now you can resume on navigation. All right, but two uh, DME to uh, the three drill power. Linden, and we got to be at 3,000. We're currently at 3,400. Uh, uh, we have glide slope, so it'll give us LPV, so that's going to be uh, 1,030 feet. And of course, we are going to execute the missed approach. November 681 Foxtrot Delta Santa Barbara, uh, Lumber Clearance Code to the Santa Barbara Airport, flighting 310. Expect redirectors, ocean side VOR, and that's filed. Maintain 2,000. I'd expect 6,000 five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.6, squawk 1403. And Dewey's our final approach clear fix. to uh, I have heard to Santa Barbara, uh, heading 310. And uh, I expect factors to Oceanside. Uh, then as filed, I maintain 2,000 feet, expect 6,000 in five minutes, 119.6. 1403 on the squad. 1 Fox Red Delta. 1 Fox Red Delta, read back, correct. 529 Charlie Fox, Charlie, turn right heading 180. Right, 180 on that Charlie Fox. 6, 3, 5, 7, Quebec, Connect,
All right, we just passed over Linden, so we can continue to descend. And we're going to go to Tower. And we have LPV, so we have Glide Slope now. Chino Tower, uh, good evening, Cessna 65, so I'm going back. Uh, Arnav, runway 26 right approach. Or GPS 26 right approach. 6357, Quebec. Chino Tower, uh, Roger, report the mist. Okay, we'll report the uh, mist, and then we'll execute the published mist approach for uh, Cessna 65, so I'm going back. Nine Charlie Fox, track the center, maintain 4,000. All right, so Nine according Charlie to Fox. the glide slope, we're a little bit low. Well, not a lot low. Nine Charlie Fox, shot, uh, make the heading 1900. 1900, Nine Charlie Fox. All right, coming up on the final approach. Fix. 2083, connect Joshua, approach on 126.1. We'll go ahead and first 10 degrees of flaps, we're in the white arc. The airplane's going to want a balloon, so we're going to trim that air, trim it down a bit. Everything else is looking good. Josh, we'll go southwest 2080, 14.7 ascending via the J85 with Alpha. Southwest 2083, Joshua approached, Burbank altimeter 2996. 2996. 431 Julia Papa connect Santa Maria Tower 118.3. 118.3, Papa. Alright, speed is okay where we're at 75 knots, not it's, it's decent. Uh, we're coming up on Dewey. Uh, the visual descent Santa point. Santa Maria Tower, 431 Julia Papa on localizer back course. 1.8 nautical miles Alpha away. will execute mist. And that's if we were uh, Juliet, flying an MBA. Roger, execute missed approach procedure as published and report going missed. As published, a report uh, going missed. One trip, Papa. All right, so we're going to kind of level off here, wait for the glide slope to come in, because we are a little bit low. This is, uh... Four one Sierra Tango, connect LA Center on, Very rusty. on a one to three four point six five. <laughs> okay, well the glide slope's coming in. Was that for nine three Julia Papa? It was not. Okay. Copy. Sorry, thanks. Okay. All right, so we got four point four miles to the runway two six right. And we got about a thousand foot to go to our minimums. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with 20 degrees of flaps. For 529 Charlie Fox, shot three miles from Vida, turn right heading 240 and, 30 and maintain 4000 until established on the localizer. Clear to localizer, runway 27 approach. We're heading 220 and uh, maintain 4000 four until established, clear to clear localizer, runway 27, Charlie right. Fox. Charlie Fox, you're right, the heading is 240. We're looking pretty two good. Four zero. Four zero. Four Glide slope and the That's localizer. Tower, sky 201, Tango tells a nine and a half uh, to the north, inbound full stop with information November. For 201 Tango Hotel, Santa Maria Tower, right down one runway 30 and report midfield. Right down one from runway 30 and we'll report the midfield, 201 Tango Hotel. All right, yeah, we're a little bit low, so we'll add some power. Since it's an LPV approach, we could rely on our glide slope, so that's the nice thing about LPV approaches. The Monte Tower, Walker 100, clear of the runway at Delta, we're parking straight ahead. Walker 100, Roger, you taxi Alpha to the ramp, remain this frequency to pass for the Cat 7. Thank you, taxi and to the ramp, Walker 100, this frequency. Okay, all instruments are looking good still. We're a 
little bit low. Right, two nine Charlie Fox, right, you're falling through the localized, return right heading two nine or zero to intercept. Right, T seven zero nine Charlie Fox. Flowing through the local. Two nine or zero to intercept. Two nine or zero. Okay. Right. Right. We're about uh, 150 above here. Ground, November 2907 Papa at the East Hangar, ready to taxi with information November for a traffic pattern. 2997 Papa, San Luis Ground, ready to taxi via Alpha. Taxi via Alpha, 2997 Papa. Confirm the runway assignment, please, runway 29 or taxi via Alpha. Right. We're not going to look outside yet, we're not looking outside. Runway 29 or taxi Alpha, 97 Papa. You might have said it, but it was kind of jumbled into the call sign there, too. Raj. Santa Maria Tower, 431 Juliet, Papa, ongoing mist. 431 Juliet, Papa, Roger, execute mist approach, procedure is published. Okay, Santa Barbara runway's approach, is not in sight. Oh, we're simulating that, we full power. It would uh, published connect uh, to the uh, Santa Barbara uh, approach, 124.15. And Number five, two nine Charlie Fox, right, you can have to send and maintain three thousand eight hundred to establish the local Ten to three thousand eight hundred to establish the local nine Charlie Fox. Remember ground helicopter six A one Foxtrot Delta information Romeo at signature ready for taxi for an IFR release. Six A one Foxtrot Delta. Number ground only two seven taxi by Juliet Dan Charlie. Alright, two seven uh, via Juliet and Charlie. Six eight one five shot open. Uh, your four twelve be hover taxi via Juliet Charlie. Sure thing, I'll hover taxi. Okay. And on uh, Chino Tower set set six three five single back executing the miss approach for only two six right. Five seven Quebec, thank you. Connect approach one three five point four. One three five point four set six three five single back. Southwest twenty eighty three connect to Cal approach one three four point two. Now I got to figure out So I'll approach uh, SSS 6357 Quebec is uh miss approach uh for the uh GPS only 26 right 6357 Quebec so I'll approach Roger Chino altimeter 2996 Speed that one up 2996 SSS 6357 Quebec now, and of course, not Charlie Fox, the field in sight and is established on the uh, localizer. We'd like to switch to the ATIS and uh, call you back when we get the ATIS. Now, if I could remember how to. Uh, uh, Alright, talk to you soon, Charlie Fox. Southwest 2083 is with you. 8007 is Jennifer. Southwest 2083, SoCal approach, Burbank, altimeter 299 or 6. Expect the visual approach from 115. 6 visual from 115. Southwest 2083, VFR traffic for you, uh, 11 o'clock, two and a half miles northeast, found altitude indicates 7,800, type on Roger, we're going to get it, all right, Southwest 2083. Roger. Santa Barbara approach, 431 Juliet Papa, entering halt at Guadalupe at 2,100. 431 Juliet Papa, Santa Barbara right, approach, hello again, hold at Guadalupe as published, you can expect further clearance time of 0005, time now 2350. Okay, we're direct, I re expect, uh, and we're centered on at the 0005, Nav halt over Guadalupe as published. Uh, we're going to climb to 4000, and then track 241 to Lahab. 201 Tango Hotel, thanks, runway 30, clear to land. 3 clear clear around to the one tank hotel. Southwest 2083, fly heading 190 vector for the airport to send a maintain 5,000. 190 down to 5,000. And as you can see, we are on Iruri. Or on the track to Iruri. We're 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 track to Iruri. All right, uh, we're about uh, one mile from Ayuri, then we're going to track 241 from there to Lahab. And of course, we're going to hold. Mojave Tower, Mooney, 74 Whiskey Romeo is There's 4, nine miles to the northwest inbound to land with the weather. Number 74 Whiskey Romeo, Mojave Tower, on our left downwind runway 30, report midfield. Report midfield on a left downwind for the runway 30 for Whiskey Romeo. All right, we'll go ahead and start tracking 241 now. 529 Charlie Fox, track on Tower, 118.3. 118.3, Charlie Fox. Tower, 118.3, Charlie Fox, Charlie Fox, Charlie Fox, Charlie 
And Lower Tower, uh, November 5 to 9, Charlie Fox, 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 Char
circuit around uh, the hold, and then we'd like to divert to San Bernardino to execute the ILS Stoneway 6 approach for Cessna 635 Second Quebec. Uh, so Quebec Roger, understood. Maintain VFR. Just advise when you're ready to leave the hold. Okay, we'll maintain VFR and then we'll advise when we're ready. Cessna 635 Second Quebec. 681 Foxtrot Delta, can I right. call the Uh, We're about the one DME from Lahab. Well, that's our TPM 012 Tango, 10 miles north, full stop landing with Zulu. 10 Tango Bullets, our Roger makes straight in runway 16, report a 3 mile final. Straight in 16, report 3 miles, 10 Tango. Okay, we'll go ahead and start that turn now. Foxtrot Delta, 1100 for 2000. 681 Foxtrot, Delta, Socal Aperture, Radar Contact, Climb and Maintain, 6000. Climb and Maintain, 6000, Helicopter 681 to Foxtrot, Delta. And we'll try to keep it as standard rate as possible. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, uh, okay, you can see where we're kind of at, but I mean, it's not too bad. We didn't go out far enough. We probably should have waited till the zero. I think we turned a little early. Oh, it's okay. Uh, which makes sense, because the fix is precedes uh, the turn. Nine, three, Juliet, up, uh, so midfield, left out one, come on. Two, four. All right, that's Roger. Right, two, four. Clear to and land. The wind, two, four two, nautical zero, mile one, leg. Five, gust, two, one. So we're not that's timing right, it. Four. Thanks, nine, three, two, five. Six, eight, one, Foxtrot, Delta, clear direct ocean side, VOR, resume navigation. Clear direct ocean side, resume navigation. How about for six, eight, one, Foxtrot, Delta? Uh, let's see here. How do we get back to the... There we go, two miles. So we are in the hold. And when, once we get to uh, four nautical miles, we'll start that turn inbound again. Well, we're doing pretty good on holding altitude. Let's see where we're at. 97 Papa, Roger, runway 289 are cleared for the option. Runway 289 are cleared for the option. 97 Papa. And this time we'll wait till we're at 4 miles, or even like 3.9, 9 tenths of, or 1 tenths of a mile. Wow, we we started that turn. We started a little too early. Charlie, parking at the hangars off of There's Charlie. 3.8. And then there's November 4th, Romeo, Roger, taxi to the ramp, Pipe Charlie, he can remain in the street. Right with you, via Charlie. Four Whiskey, Romeo. And now we can start that turn inbound. Southwest 23, left turn into the terminal, good night. To the terminal, U-283. Alright, so we'll do one more circuit, or inbound, and then we'll do the outbound, and then we'll request to divert to... I don't, know, really, I don't really think you'd call it a diversion, but I guess it would be uh, just flying to the airport and executing the approach. And there's okay, there it is about two five six. We're going to fly that inbound. Yeah, we're somewhat outside, but that's okay. Now, for whatever reason, I'm not getting... Good evening, Burbank Clarence, Skyhawk 974 Tango Alpha, VFR request. 974 Tango Alpha, Burbank Clarence, go ahead. Uh, 97 Fort Tango Alpha is a Cessna 172 Slight Golf, like flight following to Fullerton via El Monte uh, at 3,500. We've got information Alpha, and this is for the Cat 9 attempt. 
CDI is not deflecting. All I have is the uh, moving map. Hmm. I wonder how you get that to work. Yeah, you know. That's why I like good old VORs. So it's kind of a... I don't say almost a pointless hold because I'm not really... I don't really know if I'm tracking the inbound course correctly. Because it's not moving. So... 400 LA Center, good afternoon. Descend via the Tyson 5 arrival. Now I wonder if I... Uh, Engage the autopilot if it will. Uh, uh, Fox ground of a minute. Three Julia Papa holding a Delta request taxi parking. Three Julia Papa ramp or via Alpha. You can remain this frequency. Can I? Oh yeah, it will hold. Uh, uh, via Alpha and off the street. It'll uh, hold the we'll course. Back, three Julia Papa. Interesting. It will hold the course. Will it turn? Oh yeah, it will. So, oh, this is boring. If it'll just do the hold itself, it's just boring. I mean, I understand that's how it is nowadays, but yeah, that's why I prefer uh, VOR approaches or VOR holds because, uh, I mean, oh yeah, you could see how it's just exactly on the. Wow, I just wasn't getting any deflection from the CDI for whatever reason. It's right above it, probably. And SoCal Approach, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, exit the uh, hold now. We'd like to uh, uh, fly to San Bernardino Airport uh, to execute the uh, runway six, uh, ILS Runway 6 approach for Cessna 6257 Quebec. So we Quebec, Roger, you want that from Paradise, or you want that just to final on this one? Uh, we'll take it from Paradise for uh, Cessna 6257 Quebec. Quebec, Roger, when able to proceed direct Paradise. All right, uh, when able to proceed direct Paradise, Cessna 6257 Quebec. All right, so let's go direct Paradise now. Uh, direct. PDZ. Yeah, this is just you just punching in stuff. That's the thing with. Four four three one Juliet Papa. Uh, see intentions now. I mean, I could always put the VOR in, which I already have in, so. Center. We already identified the Morse code so earlier. So yeah. We're just gonna go direct paradise now. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and brief the approach. In San Bernardino. All right. Timber seven to receive Ontario. Timber setting we already have. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the ATIS one two four one seven five one two four one. If I could put it in here, we'll get the ATIS and get that done. San Bernard. One one. Visibility six. Hey. Sky condition clear. Temperature three four. D point eight. There we go, Papa. San Bernardino International Airport, ATIS information, Papa. 23500, wind 260 at 11, visibility 6. Hey, sky condition. Clear. All right, two six zero one one two nine nine five. We'll go ahead and put two nine nine five in. It's just about right there. Uh, and the winds are. We're gonna have a tailwind of eleven knots, but we got ten thousand feet of runway, so who cares? <laughs> All right, so we're direct paradise. We'll go ahead and brief this approach. It's gonna be the ILS 
runway six approach, so it will be an ILS approach, not the uh, localizer approach, but the ILS. Final approach course of 057. As a matter of fact, we'll put that in here. It, sh it doesn't even work for the GPS, but we will put it in. It's about right there. American 250, Roger. Uh, we're going to switch to nav mode. We will eventually switch to nav mode. We'll put American the ILS in, 109.3. So 109, oops, wrong one there, 109.3, we'll switch it, let's see if we can identify it, uh, and the final approach course is 057, which we've already got in, uh, at Pettis, 3,118 feet, decision altitude is going to be 1353, decision height 250, so 1353, uh, in the event of a missed approach, we're going to climb to 2,000, then right turn to 6,000, direct paradise, and hold. We're going to hold ground, on the 258 inbound. It'll be direct the entry FBO, for these uh, pretty simple protect. stuff. And it'll be one minute holds, right turns. And that's basically it. We said 1353 for straight in ILS. We're 974 Tango Alpha Burbank, runway 15, taxi via Bravo. Uh, we're about 12 DME, 12.5 DME, 12 DME, 5 DME from, from Paradise. paradise. Um, yeah, we had the autopilot on too, so we'll disengage the autopilot because we're not going to use the autopilot. Autopilot's off. Seven. Come back, cross paradise at 4,000. Practice ILS six approach is approved. Okay, cross paradise at or above or at. I'm sorry, it says at 4,000. Practice ILS approach approved for Cessna 6357. 431 Juliet Papa's clear to the San Luis Obispo Airport via oh, direct right. Morro Bay. So, uh, where is my? What happened to my damn chart? 431 Juliet Papa clear to San Luis Obispo via uh, Morro Bay direct. Uh, keep uh, 4,000. One Juliet Papa. Why did I hear, why did it sound like it said, and circle approach, that was crossing Paradise at 6,000 for Cessna 635 Seven Quebec. Uh, paradise at 4,000. Right. Cross Paradise at 4,000, Cessna 635 Seven Quebec, thanks. I don't know why I heard 6. Oh, because I, because it's practice on the 6 approach. 7 Papa ramp via Alpha, you can remain this frequency. That's the Alpha today, Tangos. Thank you, have a good night. You as well. He didn't correct me. Well, I knew I I knew I'd made a mistake. I'm like, six thousand seems a little bit too high for an MEA in that area anyway. From Paradise, it's just, there's nothing over there. <laughs> Make two fifty to send by the Tyson five rattle. All right, and we're just gonna land. We're not even we're not gonna execute the mist. We could execute the mist. Yeah, why not? Let's execute. Let's 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 execute the mist approach. I've got some time. American 400, Roger, contact dial A center 124.85. Alright, we're about 7.8 miles from Paradise. <laughs> I've got Nav 1 in for the ILS. Congrats on the written, Jonesy. And I've already got Paradise in. You know what? We could just use VOR2 for Paradise. And let's see if we get the ILS. Because I'm not getting the Morse for some reason. Uh, we'll put Homeland in. 113.4. For cross radial. Roger. No problem. Las Vegas altimeter 2992. And that's 318. Let's go back to GPS here. That's three one zero. That's a, that's about three one eight right there. Chino ground, <coughs> mic check. 
Uh, and that's for uh, Pettis. Call Chino ground flap clear. 318 out of Homeland. Let's see if we get Homeland. That Fox ground, November 93, Juliet Papa, with a taxi VFR 2, Edwards, Air Force Base. That's right, Juliet Papa, Fox ground, hello again, runway 24, taxi via Alpha. Runway 24 via Alpha, thanks, 93, Shabbat. 13 4, we've already got in. American 4 can I go Las Vegas approach 1 tree, tree point nine or 5. Not getting the Morris oh. for some reason. Alright, I got nav 1, nav 2. Burbank Tower, Skyhawk right, well 94 Tango Alpha, holding short of runway 15, ready for departure. November 974 Tango Alpha, Burbank Tower, left turn on course is approved, maintain VFR out or below 2500 until it's eyes, runway 15, clear for takeoff, the wind 1607. Runway 15, clear for takeoff, maintain VFR out or below 2500, left course is approved, 4 Tango Approach American 400 out of 12, so the setting we uh, have information with you on board. I'd like to do the visual 26 and left. Alright, so that's homeland. American 400, Las Vegas approach, still timid or 2992. Roger, Reno intercepting only 26 left low glazer. Expect the visual approach. God, I cannot hear anything. I gotta figure out how to adjust the comm volume on this airplane. It's not adjustable. Alright, there's ISBD identified. Uh, and then we're going to track outbound. Santa Barbara approach for true Andrea Papa request. Andrea Papa, go ahead, sir. Zero, 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 seven. Papa would like to fly full procedure for VOR Alpha. For true Andrea Papa, Roger, cross Morro Bay at 4000, cleared VOR Alpha approach. Cross Morro Bay at 4000, cleared for VOR Alpha approach. Watch this, Papa. All right, we're going to have to continue that turn until we get yeah, to Fox 007. Tower, I'm going to be Jelly Papa holding short. We're 2 4, four ready to go. That's Jelly Papa. Fox Tower, fixed. right downwind approach is approved. Runway 2 4, clear for takeoff. Right, what, right downwind approved, uh, 2 4, clear for takeoff. And just want to check, you, know, you guys don't control uh, Edwards Air Force Base. We do not. Copy, thanks. Okay, there comes that. Here comes the needle, and we're gonna track 007 outbound from Paradise. There's 007 on VOR two. 007, 4000. American 250, come back to the center. One two four point eight five. And then 3300 after Sudoc. We can descend to 3300 after. Seven four Tango Alpha Raider contact. Say altitude. Uh, crossing 2000 for 2000. Four four Tango Alpha. Thanks contact. So Cal departure. Contact to a cow departure for take off. And then after Sudoc, which is when we're on, as you can see, we're on that 007 outbound, then it's 057 inbound. American 250 for Las Vegas altimeter. You are one. So cow departure, Skyhawk 974 Tango Alpha at the 2500. That's a four Tango Alpha, so Cal Approach, Burbank, Altimeter, 200 under 5, you can cancel the altitude restriction now. Copy, cancel altitude restriction, four Tango Alpha. Alright, and then Sudoc, after that we can descend to you. American 400 after pre notice and I maintain 6,000. After pre notice, 6,000, American 400. 31, actually we could descend to 3118 for the precision approach, that's the final approach fix for uh, the ILS. If it's a localizer approach, then we can't descend. We can only descend to 3300. But because we have, if we have glide slope, we can go down to 3118. And that's what it looks like. Uh, 
Uh, we should put the tower in. That's probably what we should have done. 119.45. And he's going to tell me to contact the tower soon, I'm sure. And we're looking for... We've already identified the Morse on the localizer for uh, San Bernardino. Over 6357, get back. How will this approach terminate? Uh, we're going to just do a full stop landing and get San Bernardino for Cessna 6357. Get back, gotcha. Oh, crap. I was going to... Over 681, Foxtrot Delta, connect to Cal Approach 128.1. I actually, you should have told me. Excuse Approach me. Yeah, that's okay. 681, Fox Red. That's enough. For some reason, I'm not getting the localizer. Hmm, interesting. Localizer didn't. Oh, crap. I forgot to switch to. <laughs> I forgot to switch to GPS or to nav. So yeah, that would do it. Delta, All right, we can just send to 3118 now. Number 681 Foxtrot Delta SoCal approach. The job. We're in GPS mode still so on the. Uh, the uh, on Nav One. And we can descend to uh, 31 or 3300, and then at Pettis, 3118 in Pettis is going to be identified by 318. And we already have uh, VOR2 set to Paradise. It's already been identified. Final, final approach course is 057. We've already got that in as well. The uh, DG is probably processed, but right now I'm in a descent, which is not going to be too accurate. But that's okay. This is more of a practice. It's been a while since I've done anything like this, so. And I could tell I was quite rusty, so. That's okay, but we're on the localizer, so we're good. And we said the decision height was 1353 for the ILS. Depending on our ground speed, we can time how much it's going to take. Uh, we'll have like a 70 knot ground, well actually we're going to have more of a 90 knot ground speed because of the tailwind. We're going to go ahead and start slowing it down too. Because we do have a tailwind, so. Uh, and that's going to be 478 feet. American Flyer, field total clock, one four miles advised to have it sight. Uh, four minutes and four Good seconds. Good American Flyer. American Flyer, roger, roger clear visual approach, runway 26 left. Okay, there's 3300. Clear 30, visual approach, 26 left, American Flyer. We'll go ahead and get the first notch of flaps in. We're going to have like a 10 knot tailwind because the winds are 260 at 1 1. But of course we wanted to do the runway 6 approach. And we got 10,000 feet of runway, so I really could care less. Yeah, we're just waiting for that glide slope to come in because we are uh, way too uh, low, according to the glide slope. All right, we're just going to be crossing over Pettis according to our moving map. I'm still waiting for that. Oh, of course, I don't have homeland in. Did that again. All right, there's homeland. And we can start the clock. Should be four minutes from the final approach fix to the misapproach point. Misapproach point is going to be at the runway threshold. Yeah, I can tell that wind is on this plane is bouncing around. <laughs> going to be landing really fast. Now we'll go ahead and start. We'll go full rich on the mixer. Las Vegas approach, one tree, tree, point nine or five. And I want to see, I wonder if he wants us to contact tower. And so I can approach like contact tower for Cessna 65, so I'm going back. Five, seven, can I get contact tower now on one nine or point four five? One nine or four five, Cessna 65, so I'm going back. 
Center of your tower, SSI 657 Quebec, uh, ILS runway, Anki runway 6 approach. 6357 Quebec, San Bernardino Tower, the wind 260 at 11. Do you want a straight in for 6 or a circle to 24? We'll just do a straight in for 6 for SSI 657 Quebec. That's <laughs> runway 6, clear to land, wind 260 at 11. Alright, clear to land runway 6 for SSI 657 Quebec. Yeah, we, only, we have 10,000 feet of runway, we'll be fine. I think you can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Crossroads approach, good afternoon. American 250 is 11.6 feet at Dyson 4. We've got whiskey. We'll cross an ILS 26 left. All right. American uh, 250, Las Vegas approach. Thanks for whiskey. The altimeter 200 under 2 at Prino cleared. Aerial power back ILS to ILS here. 26 left approach. At Prino cleared, ILS 26 left approach for American 250. And uh, we plan to go missed after final approach. All American right. 250, roger. Did you and want to publish we'll missed, missed, missed instructions? Uh, Pablo, it's for American 250. American 250, Roger. American 400, connect Las Vegas Tower, 119.9er. 19 niner, American 400. American 250, upon completion of the approach, can execute missed approach procedures published. Alright, uh, we'll execute missed approach procedures, that's Pablo, it's for American 250. We're 974 Tango Alpha, connect SoCal approach, 135.4. 135.4, 4 Tango Alpha. All right, we got about 700 I'll feet to go. American 400 uh, on the visual 26 left. We plan to make this a full stop. American 400, Las Vegas Tower, wind 200, Niner, gust 1 Niner, runway 26 left. Clear to land. Clear to land, 26 left, American uh, 400. Above the glide slope now. Crap. All right. We've got about 400 feet to go Two here. Tower approach, Skyhawk, 974 Tango Alpha, 3,500. 974 Tango Alpha, SoCal approach, the El Monte altimeter, 2,995. 2,995. Power, so we don't go below the glide slope. Add a little bit of power there. All right, we're clear to land. Always the last, the critical, the most critical part of the ILS is when you're so close. All right, we're we're on that. We're on the localizer now. We're just, we're just high. All right, uh, minimums, runways in sight, and yeah, we were almost at uh, 90 knots of ground speed. We're at 350 on the clock. We'll go ahead and. Continue. Not bad. I just. Well, we've got this ten knot tailwind, so doesn't help. For two zero six Sierra Foxtrot, San Bernardino ground runway two four taxi via Alpha. Two four via Alpha for six Sierra Foxtrot. You see, you want to go eastbound initially. Yeah, we're going to go east and then climb above the shelf and uh, transition that way. That just sounds good. All right, there's runway six. We'll go round out. Rick, we're off Alpha 5, we're going to uh, bring us into the Bravo gates. Alright, not bad. Well, at least we got the full stall there. <laughs> With American 400, Roger, cross runway 26. We still got 7,000 feet of runway remaining. Bravo 5, straight across into the gate. And, uh, <laughs> monitor <laughs> ground point 1. Alright, Alpha 5, we're crossing right side on Alpha 5. Landing uh, wasn't Bravo too bad. Five, and then you said Charlie into the gate area? Well, we gotta no, you take Bravo here. 5 right into the ramp area there. All right, Bravo 5 to the ramp, American 400. Uh, let's see here. Brakes are so sensitive. Ooh. Plenty of runway. What is that, Charlie? Uh, we're going to go to the FBO. And San Bernardino Tower, Cessna 6357 Quebec, it's clear of runway 6 at Charlie. We're going to taxi straight ahead to the FBO in the north side. 6357 Quebec, Roger, ramp via Charlie. You can remain this frequency. I ran via Charlie, remain this frequency, Cessna 6357 Quebec, thanks. Alright, so we can do the after landing checklist here. 
But uh, we'll probably uh, just the one Foxtrot Delta Clear at Los Angeles. We'll probably just disconnect from the network and we'll review that landing because they just gotta go like that to see. I know I still had my foggles on, but <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, let's see here. Let's see this landing real quick. We had a crazy tailwind. That wasn't bad. On center line, at least. Nobody's in the airplane. How's it flying? It's autonomous, right? <laughs> all right, uh, we'll go back into the cockpit there. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, was very rusty there, as you can see, but we did pretty decent. Did pretty decent learning this Garmin 430. Um, same GPS that's in the airplane that I fly. So, so yeah. But uh, like I said, hope you all enjoyed it and found it informative. Uh, fly safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time.